Very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and I want to show you how to uh, make a button, play a sound, uh, make it toggle in such a way that will actually stop the sound as well. But uh, to use the uh, use action script and uh, the sound class to a minimum. I've tried to use it to a minimum. Right guys, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about very soon. Let me hit control enter on the keyboard and test the movie. So here goes control enter. And there you can see the, the, the background music actually playing. Now if I press this button, you can see that the, the, the music actually comes to a halt, a stop. It's not a pause guys. It stops it and it's a toggle. Which means if I play, you know, if I hit it again, it'll restart all over again. And uh, you can hear the soothing music in the background. And uh, guys, this red circle as well as the diagonal red line has been created only through action script the, the circle and the diagonal uh, red line weren't drawn they were created only through the action script all right okay so uh, guys uh, <coughs> let me tell you what all went into uh, this project right guys this is uh, actually a, a, a graphic that I brought over from uh, fireworks all right I converted this graphic to a uh, a symbol okay a movie clip symbol and I called it MC MC for movie clip alright then guys what I did was I went to use the sound class sound channel class sound transform class I, I've tried to avoid that as much as possible alright guys what I did was I double clicked I went inside I'm in the edit mode guys and then I created three layers now this layer which I call the music layer I pulled up the music, this music, soothing music, MP3 and placed it out here on the stage, which meant that this music layer carries the music. Okay, the second layer, guys, layer number two, if I right click and show it to you, uh, just has stop parent parent semicolon written, which means it will stop this playhead from uh, rushing to the next frame. All right, and uh, this third layer layer number one actually carries the symbol all right that's all that is inside this movie clip symbol let me come out back to the stage okay on the stage guys layer number one is actually the the one that is hosting this picture this graphic right and uh, then we have the action script so guys uh, first thing that i've done is the the graphic of the speaker which is a toggle button actually uh, I've used the button mode property on that and, and I've set it to true which means that it will give me that nice finger that I want when I test this finger instead of the pointer I get this finger guys the finger through the button mode property right you you see the that is not the def default behavior you got a, you got a finger with the button but you never got a finger with the movie clip but I got it out here okay now lines 3 4 5 and 6 as well as 7 are responsible for creating that red circle and uh, the diagonal red line okay we'll talk about that later so I'll skip lines 3 to 9 for the moment cool now guys next what I've done is the button that I'm uh, hitting again and again which is uh, d giving us that toggle functionality I've called it MC and I've added an event listener to that of the type mouse click so whenever the mouse is clicked okay this function happens now what is inside the function let's see here it says if counter modular operator is equal to is equal to zero now for many guys this modular operator may be new what it actually means is if you divide counter which is which was set to one by two and if the remainder is zero then do this else do that okay so initially the counter was set to a value of zero if you divide uh, sorry uh, to a value of one if you divide one by two the remainder is not zero since it is not zero it will skip these steps guys It'll skip line number 16 17 18 and 19 
but it will obey this much it will make uh, all the sounds playing stop through the sound mixer dot stop all method now guys sound mixer dot stop all is a method through which even if there are multiple sounds playing they they come to a halt they stop it's not a pause guys it's a stop okay so initially the sound was playing we clicked on the MC all right it checked if counter divided by 2 gave us a remainder of 0 it saw that it did not so it stopped the sound all right and it added my shape now my shape was that red circular uh, structure with that diagonal red line okay which was created out here lines 9 uh, 3 through 9 which we'll uh, come back to a little later okay and then after having um, you know created that shape and put it on top of the speakers uh, symbol I incremented the counter through the counter plus plus uh, method okay now the counter has become two it was initially one now if somebody clicks guys it'll check again it'll check if counter divided by two is equal to is equal to zero it means if the remainder of that is equal to zero which indeed it is if you divide two by two the remainder is zero since the remainder will ze is zero it'll obey this much and it will skip this much guys what it will do is it'll ensure that it will go inside the symbol MC and play it let me show it to you this is MC guys it will go inside it okay and then it will play it so what will happen this playhead which was made to stop because of this action out here actually plays itself okay that's the last frame on the timeline so it will come back it will loop back that is the default behavior looping is the default behavior as soon as it comes back guys it will encounter this music frame once again which will result in the music playing all over again all right and then it encounters the stop it does not allow the playhead to loop okay so it went to the second frame went back to the very first frame started the music and uh, the playhead came to a still okay so that's what happened let me go inside the actions panel and uh, so it starts the music it kicks the music off again and removes my shape so my shape was that red structure with the diagonal red line okay so that's how we got the toggle functionality on this MC button guys okay through the modular operator so even times it plays odd times it does not so whenever the remainder is zero it plays and whenever the reminder remainder is not zero the music comes to a stop here we actually add my shape which is that red circle with the diagonal line here we remove it okay so and here we increment the counter to get the toggle functionality over that button MC now the question is how did I actually create this shape guys uh, for many of you again this may be new guys the first thing that we did here in line number three was we created a variable which is going to then store the shape of the type shape is equal to new shape so we are instantiating a new instance of a shape okay now in my shape which is the the name of the variable through the graphics class in the line style property I'm telling that I want the thickness now this parameter is the thickness should be five pixels and the second parameter guys is the color so ff0000 prefixed by 0x means the color red okay so I want the line thickness to be 5 pixels of the color red I'm using the move to property guys of the graphics class and making my uh, I'm, I'm starting the line at coordinates 2020 and through the line 2 I'm drawing a line till 75 to 75 so if you start at 28 28 and end at 75 75 you actually get the diagonal line and guys out here through the uh, draw circle method of the graphics class my shape is getting this nice uh, circle where 50 and 50 are the X and Y coordinates basically the center of the circle guys the coordinates of the center of the circle and 35 is the radius 
okay so, so lines uh, sorry three through nine are responsible for creating the the red circle and the red diagonal line which it is placing once the music uh, comes to a halt it's placing it out here and it's removing it out here when you play the music so guys I, 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 I thought this uh, project will be very very useful to you guys since I've not used the sound class a lot I've just used the you know the sound mixer dot stop all method and uh, rest everything was more or less a little bit of logic I haven't gone too deep into the action script if I were to do the same thing think to through the 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 sound class it would be pretty long pretty complicated guys so guys I hope you like this tutorial I'll see you very soon with yet another flash and action script 3 tutorial you have a good day guys bye bye peace